Uh, well, I do give Kevin a hard time once in a while. <laughs> um, in his own way, I'm sure he means well. However, he's playing with a very dangerous crowd. And I've told him that repeatedly, and he just... <sighs> to be young feel you can be bulletproof on some things that are... He's not the Teflon he thinks he is. I'm, I'm watching his... Um, God, I hate to say it, but it feels like decay. Um, where he's... It saddens me because some of these people that I see and they show up seeming bright and having some type of vision, how quickly it can be dimmed and fade away by the abuse of living challenged or the artifacts of what goes on in a world that most will never imagine. They dread it, they fear it, they stare it until you actually lived out in the trenches. Your worst nightmares have never been realized. Sad commentary, but true. When in the middle of the night you'll hear someone shrieking for their life, or you hear a voice you know that's It's not in any way. Those are souls that still need to be counted for. So if you have missing sons or daughters or relatives who ended up at some place in the world and then they vanished, maybe you have to go there and get on the ground yourself and try and retrace their steps and see where it takes you. Dangerous or hire someone to do it. Call us, we'll find somebody qualified to do it. We have people who do that. Our, um... Hmm. We don't publish those skills, but... Hmm. Believe me. That was some of the best on the planet when we need to go get people. And extract them from situations. You cannot extract yourself from life and Extinction 7. You're either going to take a strong stand against it very quickly, or you're going to be consumed by the anger of World War III. Extinction 7 is real. Wake up, sheeple. This is not a fire drill. And there are no second takes. What are you doing to stand up for world peace today? Big stand or get ready to fall for World War III.